So humans are causing all sorts of ground defamation, particularly when we're extracting resources such as oil, gas, uh, coal, and even water from the Earth's uh, subsurface. When we do that, the, the surface responds to that. Actually, it can respond even when we've stopped extracting the resources. So in the UK, large regions that were former coal mining regions are, are uplifting now in response to the fact that we've stopped pumping water out of the ground. Now, we want to be able to know how much that ground is moving because it has real effects on, on communities living above those, uh, th those regions of ground defamation. If your house is, is on one of these regions that's subsiding, then you might get a damage to the property, for example. And, so, and there are things we can do to stop that, sub that uh, subsidence happening. For example, if we're extracting gas, we might be able to pump in uh, water or other fluids to compensate for the, the gas extraction so the surface remains relatively stable. The first step in being able to do anything about it is knowing how much ground defamation is taking place. Now conventionally we would do that by making surface measurements using traditional geodetic methods such as levelling or using GPS techniques on the ground but these are very time consuming and they also only give us information at points where some individual surveyor has been able to get to on, on the ground. With satellite radar techniques we can look at a whole region that might be affected by uh, surface uh, subsidence due to resource extraction. We can get detailed time histories of, of points uh, using techniques such as persistent scatterer interferometry and we can then give that information to the companies uh, that are extracting the resources or to the organisations responsible for, responsible for monitoring that extraction and they can use that to work out what mitigation techniques are required to prevent any damage caused by the resource extraction.